Hey, welcome back to the workshop. Continuing with the interior restoration. Um, so what I have here is some of the interior uh, paneling uh, that goes in the back seat passenger compartment. So what, what's going on here is this one's set up to, um, to uh, contact cement, but it's a little hard to see what it is. So basically it's, it's one of these panels, right? It's a little hard to see because I've got the fabric on there, but it, it sits in the passenger compartment, kind of up where your shoulder is. And this piece was a little trickier. Um, my daughter, who's learning to sew, helped me with this. Um, so I've got it partially installed. These panels have uh, spikes that come through, and you pop the, the fabric through and bend them back over. But it's uh, this is one of the ones that you can't just glue. It's because it's got a weird shape. It's like an S shape. So... Um, the panel goes around the corner this way, and then it's got a little bend over here. Um, so it's got some dimensions to it. It's not just flat. So the way they did it at the factory is they have the piece that goes on the front, and then they have a flap that goes over the back and, and sticks. So this is on the inside of the, the panel. You don't see this side. It's the unfinished side. Um, but she did some stitching for me and uh, I'm going to get these glued up. And what I've done so far here is these are, it's a two door car, but these would be the uh, back seat door panels if it had doors, right? Um, this goes where like the passenger's elbow is and uh, the power steering, uh, the power window switch is on these. And I did these the same as the other, as the front ones. They're pretty easy to do. Uh, I have other videos on the step-by-step. -step. These are very similar. They're just smaller. Um, so I'm going to get back to those other ones and uh, show you how they go. All right, so I've gotten these. So I don't have enough contact cement left uh, to do the back, which I'm not too worried about because uh, I, can, I can glue this down after. Uh, as long as you get all of one side glued, you're in good shape. So I got a little dirt on there, but here's the front of it. You know, that side gets tucked behind the seat, so you don't see the spikes, but it came out good. It's nice and smooth, right? Like it seemed like I was going to be in trouble because you got to flip this flap down over, but you just smooth it out, you know, work it around the corner here, around this S bend, get this to lay down, get this to lay down, get everything nice and flat. I got this clamp on here that kind of, it pulls the, the uh, flap on the back down to keep everything nice and taut. Just let it sit. I'm gonna let it dry. Uh, I gotta trim this up. Obviously that's a little wonky. I'm not too worried about the length on the back cause I can just go and fix that later. Gotta get some more contact cement. I got this one going, same thing. I only did the front side. I'll get the backs later. I have enough for the flap to get the flap down and uh yeah it's coming along uh one last complicated piece left is the armrests they're like three-dimensional with weird shapes um my daughter sewed some pieces for those for me too and i'll be getting to those soon so i'll keep you posted thanks bye